Hello, welcome back. This is Jeff Byers, and I'm going to show you how to do a set driven key hand curl with the entire hand. So select your hand control, and we're going to add an attribute. So we're going to go to modify, add attribute, and we're going to set this up as hand curl. Okay, and then we're going to set this up for minimum to be negative 10 and maximum to be 10. Um, click OK. That'll cl uh, that'll create a uh, hand curl um, attribute for that. So that's all set up. So all we need to do is select that, hold down the space bar, go to uh, key, go to set driven key set, and we want to make sure we load driver. Okay. Next thing we got to do is hit the Q key and just kind of click on the first thumb joint and hold down the shift key and select all the ones underneath of it and we're going to do that for every single one you can see that I'm clicking on all the joints one at a time this is the only way to do it otherwise it won't work so I have to select all of them from the root which is that one all the way down the line like this and then we're going to click on load ribbon that will uh, place all those let's go ahead and just hold down um, the left mouse button all and just go all the way down to the bottom so you can see all of them are selected and we also want to click on hold down the shift key click on the uh, rotate X Y and Z make sure they're highlighted and under hand control click on hand curl all right so we're also going to shift select the um, hand curl okay um, hand control and under hand curl, we want to make sure that is set to zero, and it, it is. So click on key. Okay. So hold that control key down and click on the hand curl control. And we're going to rotate these. Okay. So I'm going to hit the E key and then rotate them like that, just so you get the hand closed. All right. I'm going to shift select this controller again, and we're going to type in 10. Okay, all right, so the problem with this is that I need to type in 10 first and then curl them. So I'm gonna just uh, hit the Q key and hold down the control key and click off of that. And I'm gonna hit the E key again and then rotate that. Okay, there we go. And then I'm gonna hold the shift key and click on that again. That's set at 10. Now we can click on the key, okay, on the set driven key, click off. Okay, don't close this yet. In case you made a mistake and click on this hit the Q key and then in hand curl okay hold uh, uh, just highlight that and with your middle mouse button you can move it back and forth and that will go from and you can type in one if you want to or excuse me zero and just highlight that and you can move your middle mouse button back and forth okay here we go like that there we go so we got the open and close Okay, so zero is open. Okay, and if you animate that, you can right click over this, animate this from zero to, and then set that in your keyframe to maybe 30 frames. Okay, right, keyframe it. So we set a key here, key selected, go all the way to 30 frames, and we can type 10. And then set a key there. We can play that back and forth if we want to. Of course, that's way too fast, so we have to set that up to 24 frames a second. And we can play that again. There we go. Look at that. Our hand is closing. Yay. Sweet. All right. Congratulations. So now you got the hand close and open tutorial done. All right. I'll see you guys later.